Any updates on an engine switch? So this is something that we've talked about before in the past. Uh, I don't mind talking about it again, actually, because uh, I mean, it is it is interesting. But uh, so the game at the moment runs on Unreal Engine 4 and there is an Unreal Engine 5 and uh, it is technically possible for us to switch using Unreal Engine 5. Um, but there's 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 a lot of reasons why I mean, I mean there's a lot of reasons why we don't want to do that but also a bunch of reasons why it would be good to do that um first of all first of all you dog is losing his shit um first of all we don't necessarily get um nanite and lumen all that stuff uh, out of the box uh the game is not built for that in mind and um <clears throat> so so that's one thing if we were to move to unreal engine 5 another really big problem with unreal engine 5 is that the physics engine that they that we're using currently is deprecated in unreal engine 5 so we would need to like implement all the physics in the game from scratch um and that is no that is no small thing <laughs> that's no small feature um the one thing though with doing that though is it is kind of like tempting though because the 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 new engine the physics engine that Unreal Engine 5 uses i mean is should be better than the one we have right now and it would also fix a bunch of stuff potentially that we wanted to fix in the future anyways and that's specifically related to to vehicles so the way vehicles work in the game right now is a little bit weird and we believe that if we were to move to chaos they would actually fix a lot of that stuff <clears throat> but that would also mean that we would need to re-implement all the vehicle physics from scratch and start from not from scratch but ish so yeah yeah, the dog is losing his shit right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> full doggo alert. Dog, d doggo is warning us not to move to Unreal Engine 5. Um, but there's there's a bunch of other tools too. This not not just the physics. There's a bunch of other tools in Unreal Engine 5 that would be really interesting. But uh, we've been we've been sort of dabbling in, with thought of moving for a long time, and it is a huge project to do that. So I yeah we. We'll see what happens, essentially, whether we do it or not. Uh, we have been investigating and sort of working on that at the sidelines while we were also working on other things. And um, whether we do a migration or not is still sort of... Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Save for after the release. Like, if we do it, it should... It, it's good if we do it before release, honestly. Um, because we... The, the thing that would kind of ruin, like, if if we do the switch to Unreal Engine 5, and, it, and, like, the game sort of feels different, you know? It's kind of weird to do that after we release the game already. Um, but at the same time, it might also be the case where a lot of the, the like, our how we work with the game, like, our, our regular, you know, day-to-day -day life, like, working on the stuff, like, a lot of stuff would probably break, and we don't know what will break. Um, so... Like the whole process of working on the game will also change, I think, quite drastically. Um, so yeah, if we want to do Unreal Engine Five, I guess we're just gonna need to make, make an entirely new satisfactory. But I, I think, like, if if we do the switch to Unreal Engine Five, I think we would like to do it before 1.0. Is is my take on it? Um, but we will see. I th I think if we do the switch, we'll probably announce it in some way. Um, and talk about it publicly because I don't think um, like I think here me explaining what the because like what the difference is for you like if we do a switch it's not necessarily that everyone would notice honestly um, so uh, so yeah that it is what it is and and um, but also if no one knows this then maybe there's no point in explaining it but what if, what if the game is already on engine five huh and you guys did just didn't know huh Huh? You ever thought of that? Anyways. A lot of woofs in chat. <laughs> Is my dog distracting? 
<laughs> Would Unreal Engine 5 physics make golf feasible? Yes, that is the one thing that's stopping us from making golf. That's why it's never happening. When roughly would would have wow she's so vocal today i don't think she's ever been this vocal before uh when roughly would you have a no-go decision to make the switch that's a good question actually um sometime before 1.0 <laughs> i guess if we do it <laughs> with enough time for us to fix like all the issues that i would cause because if we do make a switch there's gonna be a ton of bugs that like didn't exist in the game before the switch probably uh, most likely. Better Vulcan support if we switch? Uh, that's a maybe. Possible save breaks as well, maybe? Uh, no, because the, the, um, the save system that, that's in the game, that's completely custom made by us. So, so like that would not change at all, actually. I mean, unless there's a system that changes that depends on like something with the safe system, but they wouldn't break the safe files. They would just break like that thing. And, and that's in the past, it's been fairly easy to fix those kind of issues. Um, we might end up in situations with a bit like awkward. Like if you guys remember, there was a time when one of the foundation pieces was incorrectly, uh, had an incorrect origin. So like we had to f rotate it which meant that if you've built with that incorrectly rotated piece, when we fixed it, it would rotate back. I know that Total's uh, save file was kind of ruined by that, uh, because he was in that awkward in-between time when he was using the new, the old, like, the, the broke, quote-unquote, incorrect rotation. And then we switched it. Uh, and then we had migration code for it, but I think he managed to be, like, in this perfect spot where he was building between or after one of the migration periods, anyways. Um, I, I don't think safe files are too, I wouldn't be too worried about that for, for if we do, did make an engine change, but there's also a lot of assumptions, you know, making, making that kind of change. Um, cause it is a huge, there's a lot of code, uh, in the game. <laughs> 